Hey, John Cannell from Preppy Kitchen here. Today we're making a classic French martini two ways. There's gonna be a twist and it's delicious. So easy to make, it'll be one of your favorite drinks, I promise. So let's get started. Before anything, let's get a little bit of garnish. I'm just gonna use a lemon peel cut thinly. It'll look really nice. Whoa, that's very thin. This is a brand new knife and uh, it's real sharp. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think this will look nice just floating around in my glass and it smells amazing as lemon oils will also infuse into the drink. So I cut a couple more, just for safety. Okay, there we go. Let's add some ice into our shaker. Now I'm using a jigger that holds a quarter cup, but basically this drink is gonna be one part Chambord, two parts vodka, and two parts pineapple juice. So here I'm using 80 milliliters, ooh, whoa, or a quarter cup of fresh pineapple juice right out of that jar, and then one equal part, so that's again 40 milliliters, no, 80 milliliters, or a quarter cup of vodka. You could add in a little bit extra if you feel like it. It's that kind of day. And now for the Chambord. This is like the fanciest bottle I've ever seen in my life. Look at the top. It's like a jewel. I'm not getting paid to say this. I had to pay $50 for you. If you don't want to use Chambord or you don't want to like spend that much money, you could use Creme de Cassis as well. It's very similar in taste and it's an excellent substitute, but stuff is kind of nice. I will tell you though, it expires. So you can't leave it in your bar for years and years. I think you're supposed to drink it within six months of opening it. <laughs> 40 milliliters of the Chambord, which is an eighth of a cup and a little extra. Now we're gonna shake it up. Use all your strength to open that cocktail shaker, pour it out. Beautiful color. All right, I'm just gonna garnish it with that lemon peel. It's gonna add a little bit of lemon oil into the drink as well, and I think it looks pretty. All right, now it's time for a taste. That's delicious, thank you very much. But let's try it a second way with a little bit of a twist. More ice for the cocktail shaker. And this time I'm gonna add in one part pineapple juice. In you go. Again, one part vodka. If you wanted, you could add a little bit more. No one's watching, it's okay. Now, a squeeze of lime juice. I think a little bit of acid will help kind of intensify the flavors and brighten things up. So, healthy squeeze of lime juice. <laughs> and again, a generous pour of Chambord. I'm gonna use the big jigger, but not fill it up all the way. It's gonna be like two thirds of the way full. We're gonna shake it up and there's gonna be one more twist. Oof, nice and chilly. All right, let's pour that in. And just for a little sparkle, I'm adding in some soda water. If you wanna be fancy, you could add a splash of champagne or sparkling wine. I did not feel like opening a whole bottle of champagne for that splash, but you can if it's a party or if you're celebrating. Okay, what do I need? Ooh, no, <laughs> better balance, that's what I need. I'm adding a lemon peel for garnish and now it's time for a sip. Hmm, that's very nice, but the original is very nice too. This mellow raspberry situation is a classic for a reason. Definitely let me know if you have any substitutions that you're interested in. And if you like this video, check out my strawberry margarita. So fruity, so light and refreshing, but full of tequila, just how you like it. And why not check out my classic Manhattan drink? It is three ingredients coming together to make some serious old school magic. All right, thanks so much for watching and cheers.